What's up everybody, Chad here for yet another video on the interior of my truck. So today I do have the window sticker, also known as the Monroney, and what I think of as the birth certificate for this truck. And many people would look at it this way because this is exactly how it was optioned out from the factory, where it was built, and then eventually where it was sent to along with the purchase price or what the manufacturer recommends be the total purchase price. So I thought that this would be a cool video to make because when I was much younger I always thought it was really cool to see how people would get these vehicles, go onto YouTube and then kind of go through the whole buying process and go over exactly how their vehicle was equipped from the factory. So obviously if you've been following the channel to any point uh, my truck and Bandit's truck are definitely not exactly how they were off of the factory line or as they were on the dealer lot. So today we are going to go over exactly what came with it standard, uh, the optional equipment that came with it, and what is still on the truck today, and what unfortunately or fortunately did not make its way onto the truck to this very moment. So let's get right to it. So starting with some interior things that this truck had come with, it says smart key system on driver door with push button start and remote keyless entry system. So yes, that is obviously still here. I was not going to mess with that and change it. And why would you want to change that? Uh, the next thing is fabric trim seats with driver lumbar support. That is still here, except I do have the addition of the um, cart, uh, the Carhartt seat covers that are now on the truck uh, here in the front and on the passenger side here in the front and they are very nice. I do enjoy them and it does protect the fabric underneath from any spills, stains, anything like that. So that is one thing that I did change. Uh, let's see, we have a leather trim steering wheel with audio controls that is still here right in front of me. Uh, power windows with front, or front driver and passenger auto up down and power door locks. That is still there obviously. Let's see. Intune Premium Auto audio with integrated navigation and app suite. 7-inch high-res touchscreen, AM, FM, CD, Bluetooth, USB, aux cable, uh, HD radio, and uh, Sirius XM with three-month trial. That all came with the truck and uh, the Sirius XM I enjoyed for three months and then it went away. No need for me to continue that trial. I do have um, music that I can play from my phone, Spotify, uh, and the like. So let's see. And QI compatible wireless smartphone charging. Uh, that is something that is still in the truck. Some people do remove that because they don't really use it or they don't have a um, phone that is wireless charging capable uh, and they would rather use that space for a cubby. Um, that is something I've seen on Tacoma World. People will just switch that out to the SR5 or SR trim. Uh, piece that's there which is more just a storage pocket area uh, it does open up some more space down in there uh, when it does not have that wireless charger there and under the interior it does have in stars full tank of gas obviously that's not um, something that's on the interior and also not something that I have at this very moment but uh, that is something that you do get with the vehicle um, let's move right up to safety and convenience. Rear backup camera, that's there. Star safety system, that includes uh, vehicle stability control, traction control, ABS, electronic, brake force distribution, brake assist, and smart stop technology. That is all there. I have not messed with any of that because that is some good stuff to have. Uh, let's see, what is next? I lost my place. Um, we have uh, driver and front passenger advanced airbag system, three mounted side and side curtain airbags, three point seat belts for all seating positions, driver side and all passenger sides, driver and front passenger active headrest, side impact door beams, tire pressure monitoring system with auto locate. Well, we've got all that there as well. And we will look at the uh, optional equipment. I'm going to save some of the exterior stuff and we'll go um, on the outside and look at that, but we have 50 state emissions, uh, that is all of them, they're all compatible with that, and my truck did come from the factory with a V6 tow package, and before I get into that, um, a little fun fact about that, it was an option for 2016, 
and I believe in 2017 is when they started making that just standard on all V6s. So if you did get the 2.7 liter inline four, uh, you would not have an option for a tow package because they figured, well, you're not really gonna be towing all that much and don't need that. Um, but in 2016, it was an option. I thought when looking for the truck, I was like, you know, it's not a bad thing to have just in case. Um, and it turns out it's been extremely helpful to have that. Um, so things that are included with that, class four towing receiver hitch, ATF cooler, which in parentheses it says not available on manual transmission, obviously. Uh, engine oil cooler, power steering cooler, 130 amp alternator, four and seven pin connector with converter, and tra oh, trailer sway control. And so that is all stuff that is still on the truck, obviously did not mess with it. It's all very, very beneficial to have. Um, mud guards, uh, we'll look at that on the exterior, but uh, Hint, hint, I don't have mud guards anymore. And preferred owner's portfolio. So that is, I will show you, um, here in the glove box is when they give you this little uh, leather thing that does have your uh, owner's manuals and your how-tos. And um, you also get business cards from the person who sells you the truck. And um, it's a nice little portfolio to have. And uh, I just keep it in the glove box. It's useful information if they ever comes up that I have a question or you guys have questions that I don't have answers to, oftentimes a lot of the answers are there in those owner's manual. And uh, lastly on this part of the list is carpet floor mats with door sill protector. And I'm going to grab you guys. As you can see, there is no carpet floor mats here anymore on either side. I have replaced them with these weather techs and the door sill protector that does say Tacoma is still here on the truck. So another cool thing here about the Monroney is it will tell you your final assembly point. In this case, this is the Baja California, Mexico plant that this uh, truck was built in. And it was made in silver sky metallic with graphite interior. Obviously that is still the same as you can see. I have not repainted the truck. And let's go through some of this stuff. So another thing. 3.5 liter V6 Atkinson cycle with dual VVTi, 278 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque. So that has been changed a little bit by the uh, Orange Virus tune that is on this truck now. Uh, you guys have seen that and plenty of videos on it and more to come. And let's see, what else here? Let's go down the list. Six-speed automatic transmission, auto LSD four-wheel drive, on-demand, part-time 4x4 system with two-speed and electronically controlled transfer case. 17-inch machine alloys with P265, 65R17 tires. Okay, so that is another thing that has been changed. These are the TRD off-road wheels that uh, came right off a of Bandit's truck and have been put onto mine. I have been loving them because 16-inch wheels allow me to have just a little bit more meat here on the tires. I do have the uh, 265-75 Falcon AT3W tires all terrains that I really, really love. They have about 23,000 miles on them. They're wearing wonderfully and they are pretty quiet on the road and have served me super well off pavement. So moving on, we have the coil spring double wishbone front and leaf spring rear suspension with sport tuned shocks. So we are actually gonna move back here to the rear and underneath the truck and as you can see, and as I've done videos on in the past, um, mainly the install video, when I have removed the um, stock suspension in the front and rear. I have new coils, new shocks, and new rear springs, all from Old Man Emu, as well as the Bilstein shock absorbers. These are the 5100 series, and they are also extended travel, so I do get a bit more flex in the rear and it has also been super helpful off-road with a little extra height and some extra flex as well. And the last thing on the list is the exterior. So color keyed hood scoop, as you can see, still the silver sky metallic hood scoop. I have not changed anything with that up front. 
and for those of you wondering, it is not functional. You can open it up somewhat underneath the hood, but really at that point, you are just letting out some hot air once you shut off the truck. Or if you're sitting there in park and idling, I suppose some uh, hot air may escape out the front there of that hood scoop. Another thing is projector beam headlights with LED daytime running lights and fog lights. These are all stock here. Have not changed anything with the bulbs or the casings for them. Power side mirror with turn signal indicators. Still there. Also stock. These are really, really nice mirror assembly. A lot nicer than my 06. They were power mirrors. They were not heated though. That's another thing about these mirrors. They're power adjustable. They don't fold in with power, but they do have uh, heating elements and they're right behind the glass. So if there is ice or snow on them, you just press the button in there on your center stack and it does melt that stuff off pretty quickly. Six foot composite bed with 120 volt power outlet. Have not changed the bed at all. You still do have all the space there and the 120 volt outlet, which is useful for a few things off road. It won't power a uh, shop vac super, super well, come to find out. Moving right on down the list, deck rail system with four adjustable tie down cleats. As you can see, one two, three, and four. Those are very, very helpful, especially when transporting four-wheelers, dirt bikes, anything that you have in the bed that you want to hold down. And obviously, putting that mat in the back has been very, very helpful for keeping things off of this somewhat slick surface here, especially when it does get wet. You can definitely slip there in the bed. And easy lower, lockable, and removable tailgate. So. One last demonstration. There you go. So let's go over some things that have been changed or added to the truck over time. This recovery point here on the trailer hitch, that is one thing that I did change, or add rather, and it's been useful to have there in recovery of not only myself but others. Remove the TRD 4x4 badge on both sides. While we're back here, might as well show this for those that haven't seen it. The AFE high tuck exhaust system. It's been wonderful for going off-road because there were a few times where the old exhaust used to come, which would have been like right in this area, and there were a couple times where it did get hit. Well, this tucks up really high and has a bit more of an aggressive sound. Not over the top, but definitely nice to have. Both functional and it sounds good. Moving around the truck, nothing really up here in the front except underneath. You have a almost full suite here in the front of RCI protection. I have the lower control arm steel skids and the aluminum RCI front skid plate which does extend back much further than the stock TRD Sport skid plate which just covers your oil pan. It does not go back in front of the front differential. Moving on up and around the truck, nothing else has really changed, nothing else has been added, but coming full circle here in the back, you do have another product from RCI, the RCI aluminum bed rack, which is very, very nice to have for putting things all together. Uh, you do have the treads from eBay, which are very nice, very affordable. Not eBay, my mistake, Amazon. Do have a Lowe's special here at the top with an axe and shovel. That axe is looking awfully rusty there on the end where it's been used. I'm gonna have to take care of that soon. Nobody wants to get nicked by that. Spare tire got moved up here because it does increase some ground clearance and 
honestly when I was putting in the extended brake lines in the rear when I did add the lift this is where it was put because it made it a whole lot easier to have this out of the way while working on them underneath the bed and this is where it has stayed also trailer hitches putting right there just gonna keep it there for the moment because lately I have been switching between this and that and it's just easy to keep it there I'm not really worried about anybody taking it it seems that nobody's super interested in it and then obviously my high lift jack which was put here on the side but I'm playing around with some different mounting techniques for it um, I've considered putting it back there I've considered putting it here on the inside as well removing these tie downs that I had pointed out and creating some sort of mounting system here for it to be just easily set there screwed in with some wing nuts or something just like that again still playing with the idea of that but let me know what you all think what more needs to be added to this truck we always like to ask you guys and get your opinions on it I will say there is one thing that is in the mail and it's on its way here and it is here on the exterior of the truck is where it will be but who knows is it up top is it below is it back on the bed rack here here who knows give me your thoughts in the comments below though one thing that I did almost forget about is the TRD air filter as you can see with that sticker there that is the one other thing that has been added to this truck the only under hood modification that I do have here on the Tacoma really I don't know if it changes a whole lot but it does seem to give you a little bit more of a throttle body sound uh, the air whooshing in as some people would kind of describe it um, but that is purely because of either it's a thinner filter um, the original OEM paper filter that does go in there does seem to do a great job uh, there's nothing wrong with it but it is a bit of a thicker media and this one is thinner washable reusable re-oilable all of that but the other option is uh, it could be a bit of a placebo effect which is entirely possible as well so I did want to round off this video with going over what the MSRP was for the truck so what is listed here on the window sticker is with a $650 uh, V6 tow package, $140 mud guards, which as you can see are not on the truck anymore, and carpet floor mats and door sill, door sill, excuse me, for $209, and a $900 delivery processing and handling fee, you come to a grand total of $36,239 for this 2016 double cab long bed 4x4 TRD Sport Tacoma. So obviously, as is most people's cases, that is not what I paid for the truck. Um, you can negotiate some and uh, you know you won't get it if you don't ask, so you do have to negotiate some, especially if you do want to save a little bit of money, but obviously some more money has been put into the truck since then and it has been used to quite the extent, uh, a little bit more than people would normally think a TRD Sport would be put forward for, but it is a 4x4 truck, and uh, as you can see from our videos, we have a good time with our trucks. So, let me know what you think in the comments below. How would you option out a Tacoma if you have not yet gotten a Tacoma? And if you do, what have you added to it? What, what makes it more worth it to you to have this truck? What has been a worthy investment, such as all-terrain tires, uh, different wheels, maybe a uh, different front bumper or rear bumper, any other modifications that you've made, what has made your Tacoma yours and special <laughs> compared to all the other ones that we do see on the dealer lots and out on the road. So thank you all very much for watching. Have a fantastic week, everybody, and I'll catch you next time.